How's it going people? Ryan here and today I'm gonna do a collection video. Yes, a collection video. This is gonna be my console and handheld collection. Um, these are all the systems that some of these systems are stuff I had since day one. Uh, majorities are just systems that I just recently um, I have I managed to find out in the wild so I'll let you know which ones are which but yeah let's go ahead and get started basically when you look at this it seems like it's just a Nintendo collection but basically yeah I do have a lot of different Nintendo type product co consoles but I'll show you them one by one as we go on so let's go ahead and start well let's start with the one that's not Nintendo PSP as you can see I have the PSP right here uh, this is the PSP 3000 system I still play it today I recently got a, an adapter to where I could hold it like a controller it, it's basically a a grip because you know after a while playing like this hurt your hands and everything but yeah my PSP so good little handheld um, now let's just go ahead and start with consoles and then we'll go to handheld a really old looking Nintendo Super Nintendo uh, as you can tell it's it's warped it's dusty but it's a Nintendo it works and everything I have all the hookups and yeah this is not the original one I have I actually found this at a Goodwill for like 20 bucks um, it came with a couple of games and a lot of box a lot of boxes to video games and what was funny though is they were gonna throw all the boxes away because they were um how should I say it they were folded you know like folded down and they thought they thought it was trash so I said hey, can I just have that they gave it to me so 20 bucks for the system the wires and a few awesome games so that was a good deal we have the N64 as you can see the original charcoal gray is this charcoal gray just black i don't know but yeah um again this is not my original one this is one i got from the flea market it was like 10 bucks so i just decided to get it as a whim it works it came with the wires and everything and it was good um but this one right here yes it's cracked it's beat up but I got it anyways because it was just a dollar because the person I was selling I got this at the flea market I got this a couple of months ago actually um, he didn't know if it works and I need to hook it up to see if it works I haven't done that yet but for a dollar just to get a colored I think this is the orange I forget I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what the color's name is but yeah I mean shoot you don't really see these out in the wild and if you do they're super expensive yeah it doesn't have the door to the expansion deal or anything but hey man a color deal that's a little beat up why not next we have the Wii the Nintendo Wii as you can see right here uh again this is not an original one I have I actually got this at a where did I get this at I think I got it for a flea market I think I got it for like 15 bucks if I recall yeah 15 bucks and um, I originally bought this years ago when it first came out, but um, I had to, I, I think, uh, if I recall, I sold it because I wasn't really playing much Wii games at the time because this was, what, 2007 when it came out, I think? Wii, awesome. Okay, looks like that's it with the consoles. Well, so let's go to the handheld Game Boy as you can see it's the Game Boy original OG Game Boy this is not my original one this is a, it's a it's nostalgic I got this at the um what's it called Goodwill got it for like three bucks and I mean I could probably take it apart and see if there's anything wrong but I think it's just a it could be just a battery port that's messed up or something but I don't know where the screen just flickers, but yeah, it was a nice little find. Something nostalgic, so Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. This is the, actually this is my original copy. 
I could have sort of had the box. I don't know where. I don't know. I think I still have the box. I just don't know where it's at. I don't know. It could be in one of my tubs or something. But yeah, original Game Boy Advance. And I played this nonstop because the Game Boy Advance games, like Game Boy and all that, they had some amazing games. I mean, like adventure games, RPG games, you know, everything. And this was the go to for me when I'm not playing my consoles back in the day but yes this is my original copy it still has some batteries in there but yeah this was my pride and joy back in the day so yeah game boy advance the game boy sp this is basically the upgrade of the game boy advance and again once i got this i kind of not mess with my game boy advance afterwards because this had everything I need. It has a nice screen. It's more, instead of being more wide, it's more closer. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. But what, what cool thing is, oh, it's real dusty. I haven't messed with this in a long time. What's cool thing is it has a light, and in, um, a built-in light so you can play in the dark. That's the main thing because light wasn't, light was a factor for the original Game Boy Advance and I didn't have much light to play my games, but with this, I don't even need light. I could just be in the dark and play all of it. And there's a game in here. Oh, look. Final Fantasy IV. You could tell it's been here for a long time. Hey, I just noticed something. Hang on one second. This game probably been in here for, like, years. But let me show you something that I wasn't planning on showing you, but... I forgot about that game. Okay, people. Look what I have. Wow. This is the original box of that Final Fantasy seven, um, Final Fantasy 4 game. Final Fantasy 4 Advance. And it's still in... Actually, it's in perfect condition. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit messed up, like a little bended, but I'm surprised it lasted this long. And I have to say, I love the artwork on this. If I could get the glare out. This is a beautiful box. And, yep, it has all the inserts in there still. So, this is a nice nostalgic thing to have. And this is actually the original copy from day from day one. So, I'm happy to have this. So, I have the box too to the Game, um, Game Boy Advance SP. This nostalgic looking look. Mario, Super Saiyan Saga, Metro Zero Mush, and Final Fantasy Tactics. So yeah, I still have the box, so it's really beat up, but box. Bam. Micro. Is it? Micro Game Boy? Yeah, this is the Micro Game Boy. I got this at a flea market a few, like a year or two ago. And yeah, I just got it on whim. It was 20 bucks, but... The difference about this and other micro Game Boys is that this is actually the um this is actually the twentieth anniversary. I don't know, it's the one that you get from Club Nintendo, if I recall, because it's the classic Famicom colors and everything. As you can see, it's the whole um yeah, Game Boy Micro. It's the whole, you know. Reminds you of the Famicom. And, you know, it has the gold and red and everything. And it came with a little deal right here. But, yeah, I got this on a flea market for 20 bucks, And it's pretty awesome. It came with a game. It came with Crash Bandicoot. But, yeah, this was an awesome find. This is, like, a collector's item right here because they go for quite a bit. I mean, when I checked it the last time because you don't see these much often. But, yeah, Game Boy Micro. The game system and the box. And it's the Nintendo DS XL. The Super Mario Bros. 25th Anniversary. And, yeah. This is... I need to clean it a little. This is the Collector's Edition. As you can see, it has the mushroom, the flower, and the star. And I got this for Christmas. It was a Christmas gift from my brother four or five years ago, if I recall. Oh, as you can see... I have the box right here. It came with the Mario Kart DS, and it's really awesome. I really enjoyed it. Uh, as you can see right here, and as you can see right here, it still has a piece of the wrapper from back in the day. So, yeah, 
this is a nice little collector's item because you know I like if I have systems I like to try to get the collector's ones these are the ones you want to keep you know but those are real expensive so I can't do that as often got the Nintendo 3s XL The Nintendo 3DS, 3DS XL. I got a little confused for a second. But no, nah, this is the 3DS XL. For some reason, I was thinking it was the regular DS. But yeah, got the box. This, um, Like I said, these are the original ones I have. This one's original also. And um, has all the inserts with it. I also have the system in here. Ugh. As you can see in there, I have the system in there. Um, I didn't take it out because a few, a while back we had a, like a flood scare. So I had to put all my stuff up and I still haven't managed to take all my stuff out of the boxes. And But I don't know if I'm going to take it out of the box. I might just leave it like this because why would I have all my same systems out? You know, you know what I mean. Maybe the new 3DS XL. I got this a couple of months. Um, I got this like a month after it came out, as you can see. First generation. <laughs> Sadly, this is the second one I bought because the first one I bought, it didn't work. And I was mad. And during that time, it was hard to find these. So I was lucky to go back. I went back in time to get that second one that was still there because it was just sold out. But yeah, this is my new 3DS XL. This one's in the box also. This is the one I'm going to be keeping out, though. But, yeah. As you can see, I have all my stuff in there. Oh, come on out. I like the color. See? I have a game in there. I don't want to take the game out because I think it's on sleep mode right now. But, to tell the truth, I think it's Bravery, Bravery Default, which is an awesome game. Classic, classic. It reminds you of the classic RPGs. But yeah. Um, the 3DS XL. I mean the new 3DS XL. This is basically going to be the one that I'm going to have out all the time. If I want to play my handhelds. So yep. Now my friends. That's basically it. With these handhelds and Nintendo stuff. But this is not the end of the episode yet. No, not for a long shot, because I need to show you the stuff I have hooked up to my TV. So, let's do that. Uh, okay, people. Now, this is going to be my miscellaneous. Miscellaneous? I can't say it, but these are the systems I just have. I don't know why I have them. I guess I got them for somewhere, but yeah, let me show you. Up here, I have the original OG Xbox. Um... I don't know why I have it. I just have it. I think my dad got it. He found it. and um, It doesn't work, though. I mean, it shows the screen and everything, but it doesn't play games. And I don't know. But, yeah, I'm just holding that right now. Um, right here, I have the Xbox 360. This is my... <sighs> okay. Um, I bought an Xbox 360 because of Elder Scrolls. Oblivion, I thought that was a freaking amazing game, so... I got me a 360 just for that game. And, you know, there was nothing like that at the time. Since then, before I had a PS3, I went through like four Xbox 360s because I keep on getting the Red Ring of Death. Pissed me off. I'm not much of an Xbox fan. Sorry to say that, but I'm more of a PlayStation person. As you can see, I have two slim PS2s up here. Um, I got these at the flea market. I got the silver one for a dollar because they didn't know if it worked. And I got the black one for a dollar because it was messed up but basically the laser disc part the laser it uh, the laser piece was disconnected all I did was connect it back and it'll start working again so basically got two systems for just two dollars so that's cool this is the stuff I have hooked up so we'll start right here we have the Wii U right here as you can see it's hooked up and everything. It's the black version. It's dusty to hell. But, yeah. Uh, I like the system. It has some neat games on it. They need to bring more. They need to put more um, product to it, though. Not that many IPs on here. 
but I like the system, you know, virtual console and all that, you get everything in one. As you can see, this is my third PS PlayStation 2 Slim. This is the one I've hooked up. I had to clean it up because I just hooked this one up. As you can see, it has my two Logitech receivers on there and everything, so that's cool. And yeah, my best system. Oh, and again, this is not my original one. The original one I had was the fat one and it was bro it's broken and I had a slim one but I lost that one. But here's my new one right here. So awesome. And then down here that's my game pad for the Wii U. Awesome, awesome. As you can see right here, this is my PS4. I got this a couple got this during Christmas time, I guess. I can't recall, but yeah, oh no. Got this during Black Friday. Yeah. I had the box right over there somewhere. Uh, there it is. Great the final edition. Yeah, it was awesome. Love the system as long as love that one too. And now right here, PS3. Uh, my original one got stolen, so I have to get the different, the smaller version. It's not the slim, but this is the medium, I guess. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I still got a lot of games for it, but yeah, awesome. There's the boxes right there. Wii U. PS3 Slim. Okay, guys, that's basically it. Um, that's all my consoles. I hope y'all liked it. Um, there's not much I can say. I didn't know. I didn't know how to actually show this to y'all, so I just did it like this. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this. If you can, like, subscribe, comment down below. Do you have any of these systems? Have you played any of these systems? Which one's your favorite? Let me know, and this is all I have for y'all today, or for this moment. Um, be sure to check out my video game collections. I might be showing up sometime soon. And yeah, let me know. What do you think about this? Hit me up, and I'll see y'all next time.